We'll go through the internal organs of the cat in this video. So this cat has been opened up and what you need in order to do this is you'll take a scalpel and cut right down the middle and then when you get up to the bottom of the sternum, which you can feel with your finger, you'll cut with the scalpel this way or you can use a pair of scissors and then over this way too and then go down to the groin and you'll cut, actually this student cut a little too early, but you'll cut as close to the groin as you can on both sides and then you can open up the cat like a book. Uh, one student noticed it's sort of like the letter I for the, the way that you make the incision. Okay, so once you have the abdominal cavity opened up, the first structure that is pretty obvious to see is the greater omentum. This is a layer of mesentery that covers the intestines kind of like an apron. You can see it coming from the bottom of the stomach and then lays over the intestines. And in um, fatter cats, then this will be filled with more and more fat. This cat is not very fat and see how thin the mesentery is right there. Kind of always has that honeycomb look though with um, layers of fat throughout the mesentery. Okay, then um, we can start up here. This strong muscle that's been cut here and through here is the diaphragm, and so the diaphragm down is the abdominal cavity. And then you can see the, this cat's liver, which is this strong, um, hard tissue. Cats have more lobes in their liver than we do, so that makes it look a little bit different too. The next structure to find in the underside or somewhere over on the right side of the cat is the gallbladder. You can see that it is a sac that holds bile. That's the gallbladder. The esophagus penetrates through the diaphragm and then you can see, actually, you can actually see part of the esophagus right here as it comes to enter the stomach. And then this is the stomach of this cat right here. At the end of the stomach starts the um, small intestine. And the first curve of the small intestine is called the duodenum. So it's this part of the small intestine. If you ever wonder where you're at, find the stomach and then keep following and then you'll know you're at the duodenum. Once you're at the duodenum, it's very easy to find the pancreatic tissue. Here's some of it right here on the cat. On the cat, the pancreatic tissue can be fairly diffuse, meaning you can find, look at this, you can find bits of pancreas all the way over here on the underside of the greater omentum. And in humans, the pancreas is more like a triangle shape right through here. But in either case, you can see that this is pancreatic epithelial tissue. Okay, then you've got the rest of the small intestine, and there's the jejunum and the ileum. I'm not going to ask you to tell me where the jejunum ends and where the ileum begins, but I will expect you to know where the ileocecal junction is. So you can follow to the end of the small intestine, and actually, sometimes for finding this, if you start at the end of the GI tract, it's easier. So this is the rectum right here, and the last part of the colon. And then if you keep going up and around, then you will eventually get to a little sac right here. This is the cecum. And what that means is that this is the end of the ileum right here. And where the ileum joins the cecum, we call that the ileocecal junction. There's a sphincter valve in there that keeps um, food from move or chyme from moving from the ileum to the colon until all of the nutrients have been absorbed. Another thing to note here is that in the cat, the colon is shaped sort of like the start of a question mark, like that, or some people say it's shaped like a C. So look, it starts here and then it ends right here at the rectum. It's much shorter than the human's colon because a cat is about as close to a pure carnivore as you can find and humans are have the colon of an omnivore, so ours is longer than this. Another big difference is that the cat's colon is not retroperitoneal. That means, see how I can pull it away from the body wall? A human's colon starts out attached to the back of the body wall and it ascends and then it transverse and then descends, and then it sigmoids, and then to the rectum, and then out the anus. Okay, then we can see from this angle the spleen. Let's see if I can show you that from another angle. If you find the stomach, then you'll see the spleen on the left side of the abdomen there. This cat is a male, and so I don't see uh, any uterine tubes or ovaries, which you would see in a female cat. 
Here, though, you can see the urinary bladder. And then at the back of the body wall, the kidneys, here's one kidney. And then here is the other kidney. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look up in the thoracic area of this cat. So in order to cut this part, the students had to use bone cutters. And don't go right along the middle or you'll be cutting through the sternum. But use bone cutters to cut just off center of the sternum and up, up all the way into the neck, actually. This group didn't go quite high enough with their cut. But we can at least see the heart right here, normally covered with a pericardial sac. And it looks like part of that has been removed in this cat. And then the lungs. And is the same as the cat has more lobes to its liver, it also has more lobes to its lungs, which makes that look a little bit different than what it would look like in the human. Up in the neck region, you can see, if I get my probe, here is the trachea. You can see the hyaline cartilage that protects the trachea from collapsing. And then behind it, so I'm going to pull out a strong muscular tube from behind it, that is the esophagus. Okay, so I'm going to go over them one more time. Greater omentum, stomach, duodenum, pancreas, spleen. Then we're going to find the ileocecal valve. I'm going to go backwards again to find that right here. Okay, ileocecal valve, cecum. And then um, the re only other name on the colon I'm asking you to know is then the rectum, which is um, tucked underneath the bladder. It's the last straight part. Urinary bladder, the uterine tubes on a female cat, the liver, the gallbladder, the lungs, the heart, the trachea, the esophagus, the diaphragm, ripped on this cat so you can't see it all perfectly, but here's part of it too, diaphragm, and then last but not least, the kidneys.